Welcome to a WFUV Sports Special with Fordham Director of Athletics Ed Cole, Emmanuel Barbari with you today. Fordham men's basketball head coach Jeff Neubauer officially parted ways after five and a half seasons. Ed, thanks for being here today. Uh, good to be with you, Manny. Ed, let's start with this. What made this moment the right time for both sides? Yeah, as, and Manny, as you know, you, you follow the program very closely and, and you're, you're around us every day and following teams. Um, a difficult, very, very difficult decision. A lot of conversation, a lot of discussion throughout uh, with myself and the university uh, and Father McShane and our, and, our, and our administrators here. You know, it's been a challenging year, Manny, in terms of, of course, what COVID has done to us and the postponement of fall sports, which now will be played in the spring. And then, of course, our push as we continue to get through a basketball season and, you know, challenging for our, our young men who had a difficult quarantine throughout the month of December. Um, you know, some difficult struggles with success wise, as you know, is kind of speaks for itself in terms of the, obviously the success and wins and losses. And then, you know, also from a standpoint of, of knowing that, you know, this is the last year of Jeff's contract, Manny, uh, his contract expires in April. That's a difficult position, you know, for our student athletes, for our coach himself and for the situation. And, you know, we, we just kind of thought it was, it's in our best interest and in the best interest of the student athletes and their well being. Uh, and, and even for Jeff uh, to part ways now, provide some clarity and direction uh, for our young men, our student athletes in terms of the next six weeks and what that looks like, uh, the ability to have some transparency and open conversations about this process. Uh, as you can imagine, I'm sure we'll talk more about, you know, it, it also, of course, allows us a little bit of time to, to, to plan and strategize appropriately uh, for the future of Florida men's basketball and, and what that long-term plan looks like it needs to look like and those steps there uh, as well as publicly be able to do some research and conversations to find out you know what the next leader uh, needs to look like and be uh, to help our program and to run our program and you know i know it's been a long term of of, of, of struggles here in terms of of, 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 su of success or, or lack thereof and that's something we want to make sure we're, we're investing not only resources but also time and effort and, and proper planning and research into. Ed, before we look ahead to that potential search, we look back for a moment. You mentioned the struggle, 61 and 104 over Jeff Neubauer's tenure, one and seven so far this year in A-10 play. Is there any diagnosis right now in your mind as to the struggles that this program has had overall? You know, first and foremost, I want to say, you know, no nothing but the utmost respect uh, and professionalism of, of Jeff Neubauer. I want to thank him for all of his his his, his class and, and his and the way he held himself, the way he ran this program, the way he, he continued to work with me um, throughout this year and a challenging year at that from many levels, as you know well. So I, we wish him nothing but the best. And obviously, he's he's going to be coaching somewhere else somewhere soon. I, I have no doubt about that. And I wish him, Martina, and his family the absolute best. Um, you know, it's a common question. So I've been at Fordham a little over three and a half years, Manny. And um, if I had a nickel for everybody that's asked that question, and and I often joke, alums, you know, talk to me frequently, and I love talking to alums. As you know, the development piece, the engagement piece, the fundraising piece is, is a passion of mine, an important part of my job here. If I had a nickel for everybody that's brought up Digger Phelps, you would have thought Digger Phelps coached here for 50 years. And... You know, he had, he, it was one year here, and it was a magical year, and it was a top 10 in the country, and some incredible wins, and some garden victories, and he, he, he converted a loyalty and a fan base of alums that still exist to this day, and uh, I think often there's kind of the question of, you know, what's, what's kind of taking place? Why can't we duplicate that? And, you know, I think the answer is this, and which, which is also why I do think it's important to have the extra time here in this evaluation process in this public search process, we need to make sure we, we have not only an idea of, of where we want to go, but also obviously making sure we're identifying and real estate evaluating who we currently are to, to really build out that plan to get where we want to be. And, and, and that's part of it. And I think, of course, there's naturally some, some investments we want to make in facility upgrades and renovations and travel budgets and things we need to do to continue to compete and try to compete more in the A-10 on the men's basketball side. But I also think it's needs, we need to identify that individual that understands Fordham. Uh, and I mean that many, not just, of course, New York City or the tri-state area, but the idea of a Jesuit, our Jesuit mission, what we're built on, our core values, 
uh, that you represent so well as a Fordham student and that for our Fordham alums represent, but what that means and how, how this individual can utilize those assets to build and establish a blueprint of success and a culture and environment of success here. Um, that's not obviously short term. That's something that's long term that we can get momentum on and we can build and establish a profile and a brand of who we are and who we want to be and take that to not only our recruiting pieces, but to also take that as, as a, me a means and a mechanism to benefit the profile of our entire institution. I, I've said this to you before, but you know, our applications, our engagement, our parents, our alumni, our, our diversity, our, our, our stance in New York City, our, our, our representation. So everything, the, the, it's, a, it's a really a 360 wheel of, of, of benefits. And it's not just a tunnel vision of, of basketball because there is no just simple quick fix or, or quick answer to do that. And in the meantime, Mike DePauli, who's been an assistant for 11 years, he's basically had every role you can have with the men's basketball program, risen through the ranks, paid his dues. He will be the interim head coach the remainder of the way. In your mind, how prepared is Mike to lead this team the rest of the way? Yeah, so 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 really good question. I'm, I'm glad you asked that about Mike, Manny. You know, this has been a difficult time, a difficult conversation, a difficult decision, as you know today. But I will tell you that the one in terms of naming our interim head coach was 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 one of, of pretty ease and comfort for me. Uh, you've highlighted it. Mike's been here 11 years. He he's got some strong Fordham ties, some Fordham roots. He's seen a lot in terms of Fordham basketball with two different tenures and two different head coaches. Um, he's recruited a lot of these players, Manny. He's got relationships, strong relationships with all of them, uh, with their parents, their families. Um, you know, I, I feel a lot of comfort in knowing that Mike's going to bring um, not only his skill set in terms of X's and O's and winning and, and winning and losing. And of course, that's important, but that's not the priority here. It is the well-being of our student athletes. I know he's going to be able to. Uh, speak to them, have relationships, relationships with them, get the best out of them in terms of, of their physical, but also their mental and emotional well-being. And that's really most important for me. Uh, the rest of the way is making sure that we are having a, a culture and environment that's fun, that's that's obviously that's 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 healthy for our student athletes. It's, we all know it's been such a challenging year, and I know Mike brings that leadership, that coaching style. Uh, of strong relationships, of, of, of strong communication to our student athletes. That means a lot to me. And you know how important communication is to me. So I'm, I'm excited uh, for Mike. And I know it's a tough situation, not easy by any means, uh, but I'm, I'm very comfortable in that decision and I'm comfortable in his leadership qualities uh, for the rest of the way. You spoke about leadership, strong communication, some of the pillars you'll want in the new head coach as you embark on this new search. As you map out the process in your mind, what's step number one and how do you look to progress from here? Yeah, so it's a very good segue, Manny. I I, I think, you know, this is something we'll, we'll put together an internal search committee, um, you know, sooner, obviously sooner than later, probably right away in terms of starting that conversation, starting that dialogue of, of what you've mentioned in terms of some characteristics, but identifying of what we're looking for in a, in a new coach um, understanding our Fordham values, understanding um, our assets, understanding some of our deficiencies and how does that coach help us through that process. And I think, you know, being open-minded to individuals, whether it be assistant coach, active head coach or, or former head coach. Uh, and again, trying to figure out the right formula, the right individual who could bring that blueprint uh, and work with myself and our athletics department and our university uh, to establish a strategy and effort that will position Fordham basketball for and men's basketball for success in the Atlantic 10. And, and, that's, and that's, that's, a, that's a mouthful, but that there is no shortcut. There is no simple name. There's no simple answer to that. It needs to be the entire village, the entire support mechanism. And that's myself, that's athletics, that's our board of trustees, that's, that's our president. And I know we have the commitment and the support of our president's office, of our board of trustees and our and our alums. And I, I think we will be able to put together a strategy and an effort that'll put us in position to be uh, much more competitive and much more successful in men's basketball. And add one more, you referenced this goes beyond basketball when you consider being the men's basketball head coach at Fordham. What character traits do you hope 
the next head coach possesses. Yeah, so so it definitely goes beyond basketball, right? I think we, I think we see that in college athletics today, whether it be especially the high profile sports of of a football or a basketball, you know, men's and women's basketball for that matter. You know, it, it, it's it's leadership skills. It, it's um, it's action based leadership. Um, it's the ability, of course, strong personality. I think we, we know the value of that from a recruiting perspective, but it's also the value of engagement uh, internally to our schools um, and, and our other pillars throughout the campuses, whether that be obviously fundraising, of course, whether that be obviously um, our, our deans of all of our important uh, schools that we sell to our student athletes and we recruit to our student athletes, the educational part of this, uh, our alumni, the career network aspect of it, making sure that we are not only providing an education and a quality one, which we know we do here at Fordham, but also the opportunity for, for life after basketball and, and a job placement and an alumni network um, and, and, a, and a group that, 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 that can see the full vision and the value uh, of why coming to Fordham means a lot. Yes, A-10 basketball, national TV, the opportunity, uh, to hopefully go to a, an NCAA tournament, the dream that we all have lived and, and, and wanted, uh, but the ability to set up and position our student athletes and these young men for this, ex this example and conversation for a career, uh, for financial benefit in, in, in a workplace, for to have a family and have a living, not for the next four years, but for the next 40 years. And I think we have so many of those assets, Manny, that we, we need to make sure we're packaging them appropriately and positioning them appropriately to, to really build a strategic plan and a strategy uh, for Fordham basketball because they're wonderful assets and we need to continue to leverage them uh, at, a, at, a, at a larger magnitude. Ed, appreciate a few minutes and best of luck as you embark on this journey. I appreciate it, Manny. We'll be in touch, safe and healthy to you and your family.